What is up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to a brand new featured archetype video. Today we are going to be looking at something I've been wanting to make a video about for quite some time now. Uh, because it's been a few days uh, since this stuff has been announced. I remember actually uh, one day uh, the first thing um, I ended up doing uh, in the morning was <laughs> looking at some of these cards. Uh, a friend of mine told me to check them out. Uh, and apparently they have some synergy with Mermail. So of course I've got to check it out. They're a water themed archetype um, as it would seem. All the monsters are water. All have, uh, you know, effects based around water mar monsters. And of course, when anybody thinks of a water based deck, what do they think of? They think of Mermail Atlantean. Why is that? I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's the best water deck of all time to ever exist. Nothing has topped it. Maybe Necroz. Do you want to count that as a water deck? I don't know, you let me know down in the uh, comment section below. But without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, will this end up being the next best engine uh, to run in one of the most infamous water decks of all time? We will find out shortly. I'll give you guys my first impressions on this archetype as a whole, whether or not I think as, uh, you know, by itself, will it be decent? Will it have potential? Uh, we'll be able to get the ball rolling down in the near future. We'll have a chance to work within the main deck of the uh, Atlantean Mermail scheme, much like Undyne, the Frog Engine, the Nimble Engine, all these things. So let's go ahead and get looking at the first few main deck cards here. So all we have at the moment that I'm recording this video is two main deck monsters, level two and three, as well as two trap cards here in the main deck. Uh, and these are all um, uh, spoilers or leaks, whatever you want to call them, from Rising Rampage, which is the set that's supposed to come out after Dark Neo Storm. Crazy how far in advance we get these uh, leaks, if you will. And then we have three extra deck monsters, all Link monsters, and every one, uh, monster in here is a water monster. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one, which is the one that I think, as far as main deck monsters are concerned, has the most potential when working in with Mermail. Um, this is Marincess Seahorse. And yes, it's the Marincess archetype. I don't know if I even mentioned that yet. Uh, Marincess Seahorse, a level 3 water monster, Cybers, Cybers, effect monster with 1400 attack and 1000 defense. Uh, so far, stats looking okay. Uh, it says you can special summon this card from your hand to your zone. A Marincess Link monster points to. You can only special summon Marincess Seahorse once per turn this way. During your main phase, except this turn, this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard. That's cost. Special summon one water monster from your hand to your zone. A Marincess Link monster points to. You can only use this effect of Marincess Seahorse once return so the first effect here says you can special summon it from your hand to his own American Cecily monster points to now that first effect there seems pretty decent but the first thing we have to do is look at the other link monsters see how easy it is to make them and also see if they have any sort of other effects um, based on if they're pointed at anything, if anything happens when something is summoned to his own that they point to, or really us to, uh, for us to understand whether or not that effect is going to be too good. Um, although just a free special summon uh, to his own elite monster points to is never really a bad thing. It kind of reminds me of Crusadia monsters, um, which is uh, not too bad. Uh, or Guard Dragon stuff, summoned to his own elite monster points to. That's not too bad of a feature. Uh, and then the other effect is during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard, especially summon one water monster from your hand to his own emeritus link monster points to. And again, uh, if there's any benefit to summoning a emeritus or a water monster really to his own that any of these link monsters point to, we'll have to uh, see about that as we go further on, see if there's really any synergy there uh, for that effect to really have merit. Uh, for it to be an effect to even, you know, bat an eye at. The thing that catches my eye the most, whether or not it has synergy later on or not, is the simple fact that you can banish it during uh, the main phase, except the turn it was sent there, and special summon any water monster from your hand whose own merits that's the link monster points to. Now, I know the effect of one of the link monsters uh, that perhaps uh, maybe this would... Uh, sort of have some cohesion with and i'll explain that sort of when we get to it but that effect right there isn't too terrible now what water monster could you be special summoning uh during you know a turn it wasn't something preferably during your opponent's turn i'm not entirely sure 
Um, I know some people were talking about like uh, maybe uh, I don't know if Medium of the Ice Barrier was a card that people were um, hyping up because of this card. I'm not exactly sure when a lot of these cards got announced. Um, yeah, so you could possibly be able to special summon this card. And, but this just seems kind of like a really gimmicky setup, and I don't really think there's any way to search this card at the moment. Uh, I mean, there might be. Um, yeah, but that effect right there at the very end doesn't seem too terrible. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Merit says Sea Star, level 2, water, cybers effect, 800 attack, 400 defense. And this one says, you can send this card from the end of the graveyard, then target one Merit says monster control. It gains 800 attack until the end of this turn. And this effect of Merit says Sea Star up to twice per turn. So it's a double um, effect. The effect you can use twice in a turn. It'll boost any... Marin Sass Monster Control up to uh, 800, and then you can do that up to two times. So that's a 1600 attack boost that can make the Seahorse here 3k, which is pretty uh, insane for this little three, a uh, level three monster to be at 3000 attack. Um, could uh, be something to uh, reconcile with. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, that effect, it doesn't seem the greatest. Uh, it really doesn't. It's just an attack booster. Um, I still really don't know what this deck's main goal is to achieve right now, um, but we'll go ahead and move on here to the first trap card we have. Both the trap cards are normal trap cards, no continuouses or counters at the moment. Marincess Wave. Uh, if you control a Marincess Link Monster, target one face-up monster your opponent controls negates its effects. But yeah, if you control a Marincess Link Monster, target one face-up monster your opponent controls negate its effects. So, sort of like a breakthrough skill here off the start until the end of this turn. Then, if you control a Link 2 or higher Marincess Monster, all... And if you control a Link 2 or higher Marincess Monster, all face-up monsters you can currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of this turn. If you control a Link 3 higher... Uh, link 3 or higher Marriage Test Monster, you can activate this card from your hand. So you're really going to get the most benefit out of this card while having the Link 3 on field because you'll be able to take advantage of all those effects. You'll be able to negate a monster and you'll be able to protect all monsters you control from card effects. And that's that doesn't just say Marincess monsters. It says all face-up monsters you currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects. It doesn't just single out Marincess monsters, which is pretty strong. I can see if you have a Mermail board that ends on a, a Marincess Link Monster in some way, shape, or form, having this card in hand or set could be devastating. Because a lot of times, uh, you know, the couple negations that Mermail are able to put up or the disruptions they're able to put up, if you're not playing a PK or Orcus build or Danger build or whatever it might be, and especially since that when these cards come out, that, uh, you know, whole Orcus uh, Phantom Knight lockout thing probably won't be a play anymore. This might not be too bad of an alternative to go to, because putting a Link 2 monster on a Mermail board has never really been that hard. And just the fact that you can make all of your monsters unaffected by card effects, period, till the end of the turn, seems pretty damn good. And this could secure an OTK, or secure a lockdown that you might already have. That seems pretty good to me. And that last effect is just bonus. It's an infinite impermanence within the archetype, Seems pretty good to me, if you ask me. And then we'll move on to Marincess Current tier, the other trap card that says, when your Marincess Link Monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the Link rating of that monster you control times 400. So 400 for the Link 2, 800 for the Link 3, and 1200 for the Link 3. Or I said uh, 800 for the Link 2, 1200 for the Link 3. My bad. Then, if you control Link 2 or higher Marincess monster, and the opponent's destroy monster is a Link monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroy monster's Link rating times 500. If you control Link 3 or higher Marincess monster, you can activate this card from your hand. So, sort of a similar scheme between Wave and Current. Uh, you get different effects or different sort of things you can add on to what the card is able to do based on what Link rating uh, Marincess monster you have on your field. So, uh, just any uh, Link rating, uh, you just inflict damage to your opponent if it kills a Link, uh, link monster. First effect says, basically, in a Marincess monster, uh, Link monster destroys opponent's monster by battle. You inflict damage to your opponent equal to the Link rating of that monster you control times 400. Uh, so this one, there really doesn't seem like it's too much uh, of a, a benefit between, you know, the first effect and the second effect. It's only an extra be 100 damage or so. Doesn't seem like it's that great. 
Um, and then the fact that the very end where you can activate from your hand seems pretty cool. I'm starting to get a, a vibe that this is like uh, sort of a newer aged um, Phantasm Spiral deck. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. That's a deck that I play, uh, or at least I have played in the past. Uh, and a lot of these trap cards in here, uh, you can activate from your hand uh, if you have a normal monster, if you have this field spell up. Uh, so I'm sort of getting a vibe here, but this seems like it might have a bit more uh, potential when paired with other water engines. Uh, I don't know, that seems pretty decent, especially the wave. Uh, this card seems really good in comparison to this card. I don't really like this card too much. I doubt this card will be played. Um, if it goes into sort of any water deck, whether it's Mermels or some other fish deck, or if it goes into just pure Marincess, I don't know. Um, this one does not seem like it's the greatest. And I guess you could start, you know, getting into the whole damage scheme. Like this deck might be able to put on a lot of damage with Sea Star and the Trap card. Um, you know, boost something up by 1600 yeah, and inflict double damage, or not double damage, but an extra, you know, 400 to 1200 damage or 500 to 1500 damage. Um, based on whatever link rating you have, but again, it seems really situational. You have to have a link monster destroy an opponent's monster by battle. Um, I don't know. Just doesn't seem the greatest to me personally. Maybe it will have more use later on. Who knows? Maybe we'll get more Marincess monsters. I hope we do. Uh, I hope we get at least like a level four, uh, maybe a level one or a tuner or something. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe a synchro Marincess. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool, but I, I, I have a feeling we'll get more uh, Marincess monsters, uh, but I just wanted to go ahead and cover the, the base stuff right now. Um, and if we do get more Marincess monsters, I'll probably go ahead and talk about it in a future video, uh, perhaps like a news video or an open game state or something like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look at the link monsters. Now we got three link monsters to look at. We have Marincess Blue Slug. This is a link one. It says one level four or lower Marincess monster. Now the simple fact that it says level four or lower tells me that we're going to get a level four Marincess monster at some point in the future. Now, there was an other card here that said, um, if you control a link three or higher Marincess. So the fact that this card even bothers with, you know, having the, the text on that says link three higher might tell us that we're getting a link four Marincess monster. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I think that'd be like the first link four water monster that we have in the game. Um, I just don't think there's that many Link 4 waters. There's not really that many water Link monsters in the game to begin with, so that'd be kind of cool to see. This will add a whole lot of those water Link monsters into the game. Um, but yeah, so one level 4 or lower Marincess monster says you can only Link summon one Marincess Blue Slugs once per turn. Uh, I like that. I like that they're putting this on cards because it stops uh, things from becoming too overly degenerate. Now I get meta cards being meta cards and they're just going to be really good they might not be the most balanced because you know that's just why they're good at that uh you know certain stage they're not just mediocre they're good um but i think for just a general sort of overall health for the game putting uh this sort of first line of text on things is pretty good uh, you can only special summon them, uh, one of these Marincess Blue Slugs once per turn. Or sort of the thing we're seeing where certain Link monsters cannot be used as Link material. So you cannot keep using them to Link into themselves again. I think Saryuja is one of those cards that, you know, should have had that uh, line of text written on it. But I digress. That's for another video. Um, so yeah, once per turn. And then it says, if this card is Link's, uh, Link Summon, you can target one Marincess monster in your graveyard, except itself, add it to your hand. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except water monsters. Okay, so that's not too big of a deal. Um, you're not going to be making this with any Mermel cards, any generic water cards, whether it not be Mermel or something else. Um, you need a Marincess monster. So the only combo I'm really seeing about this is, uh, you know, you could, like, normal this, um, and then... Pitch this to the grave, boost this up by 800, and then when this is summoned, you could, or, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't, I don't know. Just like, that little combo right there doesn't even seem like it would work that well. Because um, it says if it's Link Summon, you have to have a Marriage Test Monster already in your grave to add it back. So, the only thing I, the only synergy I would see is perhaps you've used this guy's effect already once, and that's why he's in the graveyard, and then you go into this card, 
and you retrieve this back in order to use that effect again. Uh, sort of, you know, how you can take advantage of the effect where it says you can use it up to twice per turn. Um, now, I know some other people in the Mermail community had some concerns about how these cards say you cannot summon any of the monsters except for water monsters. I really don't think that's too big of a problem since a lot of the really good extra deck monsters the deck has always relied on have been water monsters. Um, and I think I think we'll be all right, uh, definitely. Um, like this deck has so many uh, future opportunities with um, Mermel Basilacea. When we get the Water Hand Trap, when we get this stuff coming out, when we get the rest of the White Aura support and Needle Fiber, that'll allow for a completely different play style. Like Mermel is one of those decks that has just evolved uh, year after year different play style, different things being put into it, and it still has many more uh, sort of, um, I don't know, eras to go through uh, before it might be just completely done. Who knows? Um, I hope it lasts for a long time because I just love the deck to death, but we're talking about Marin Cessus here. But I just wanted to put it up to the test. Will it have something to do with Mermail? Who knows? Marin Cess Coral Anemone. Now, this is the one card that I had some high hopes for. It says two water monsters. Two water monsters. Now, it says two water monsters. And it has 2,000 attack. It's a link two. I really like that. It says you can target one water monster with 50 or less attack in your graveyard. Special summon it to your zone. This card points to. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for this to turn except water monsters. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one Marincess card in your graveyard except itself. Add it to your hand. You can only use each effect of Marincess Coral and Enemy once per turn. So, the big, like, screaming issue, the big red flag, it's not even a red flag. The big thing about this card, it says, you just reborn any water monster in your grave with 15 or less attack. That revives a prince. That revives a lapis dragon. That revives a Atlantean heavy infantry for a, basically a, uh, might as well be a um, Seraphonite through Brilliant Fusion, that additional normal summon. Um, this card can revive a lot of things. Um, just takes two water monsters to go into, which isn't that hard. It's basically a new Mastar Boy. Uh, it does lock you into summoning water monsters, but I just don't see that being a huge issue. Uh, and if you're going to go first for a board of a VFD or whatever, perhaps maybe you go into a non-water monster, then you just wouldn't need this card for that combo in the first place. I see this being much more of a I'm trying to recover play it's not turn one turn two or three maybe four or five maybe one of those turns and you're going into this card to revive a prince or an infantry or a lapis dragon to make sort of a late turn play or late game play um and be able to sort of bounce back a little bit more because uh other times you have to rely on your toad hitting the grave or your mastar boy hitting the grave to add back those things this just adds it back or this just summons it on um you know, whenever. It doesn't have to, have to happen on the summon of this Link Monster. You can do this at any given point. Uh, and I think that's pretty cool, actually. So this card gets a thumbs up for me. I really do like this card a lot. And I think uh, I could see myself playing this card in Mermel right now, actually. Uh, maybe as a one of. I'm not entirely sure. Um, now we have Marincess Marbled Rock. Uh, Link 3. Level uh, Link 3. 2500 attack. No levels here. 2 plus water monsters. You can target one Marincess card in your graveyard, except itself add it to your hand you can only use this effect of Mar marincess marbled rock once per turn and the other effect it says when an opponent's monster declares an attack you can send one marincess monster from your hand to the graveyard monsters cannot be destroyed by that battle also you take no battle damage from that battle so this seems okay uh i think the real benefit you'd get from this card ha uh, being on the field is to be able to use these cards from hand uh because if they are link three or higher as so these cards state you can activate them from your hand so that's pretty cool um, the fact that it recycles a Maris, uh, Marincess uh, monster um, whenever you want. So just add one back, except itself, obviously. I think that's neat. Could have some use. Um, but again, uh, summoning these cards out, uh, like this says, during your main phase, except the turn, the turn this card was sent there, you can special summon it. Uh, one water monster from your hand to your zone with Marincess link launch points to. Um, it just doesn't seem like uh, these have too much... Uh, uh, cohesion with these cards. I mean, this is less than 50 under attack, so you can revive uh, the Seahorse off the Anemone. Uh, same thing with Sea Star, but again, they don't really seem like they have, um, at least the main deck monsters have too much to do 
with the deck scheme overall i can see how they fit in some uh, way shape or form but again uh, time will tell when we get more support for this deck and i definitely think we will um just by the simple fact this card says one level four or lower um merit says monster why even print the fact that it says four or lower if you're not going to give them a level four monster um so yeah I think we'll get uh, I think we'll get some more support for this deck very very soon. Overall, I think it's pretty good. Uh, the only card I could really see myself playing in Mermelos in the future would probably be uh, the Anemone. Uh, perhaps maybe a Seahorse as a tech card, uh, but overall that's pretty much it. And perhaps maybe this card as well, because um, like I said, you could I could definitely see myself ending on this card. It's just two water monsters, um, and then we have. Marantess Wave that says if you control Link to or higher Marantess Monster, all phases of monsters currently control are unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of the turn. These two cards get me pretty excited uh, for the future. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this featured archetype. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. And uh, are you guys excited for this archetype? Uh, if so, let me know why. If not, let me know why. What archetypes are you guys really excited to see coming out soon? And let me know about them down in the comment section below. We might do a featured archetype on them as well. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, we're going to kill Saturn out. We'll see you in the next one.